Are you editing in Premiere Pro and wondering why the video doesn't export the way it looks inside Premiere Pro? Well, today we're gonna walk you through exactly how to get that export looking exactly how it looks inside your editor. Come on. What's up everybody, my name is Jason from EO7 Media and today we're gonna to be talking about how to export your video from Premiere Pro so it looks exactly how the video looks inside Premiere. It's not overblown, it's not oversaturated, it actually looks how you're editing it. Now, I've done these videos before in the past talking about how to do a hot fix for this. However, we figured out how to do it very quickly, very easily, and so it will always work. It's easier than you think. All right, we're back in the studio. One thing I forgot to mention, and it seems to be an issue with some people, and it's happened with me too. If you are shooting and working in a Rec. 709 color space, make sure that your entire workflow is Rec. 709. Rec. 709 is often the standard for color spaces, and you can easily check if this is set up in your software. If you go to a preset, go into settings, and then go down to your color work workspace, is it HLG or Rec. 709. Make sure that is set to Rec. 709 if you filmed in Rec. 709. Then you have an actual timeline and sequence in that color space. This is one of those things that can be easily overlooked when you're shooting, editing, or exporting. But make sure you are working in the same color space throughout the whole process. If you film in Rec. 709, make sure you're editing in Rec. 709. And then when you go to export, make sure again you are in Rec. 709. Now, let's dive into the actual issue. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. There's two easy ways to get to where we need to go. The first way, go to the color workspace. If you don't see this, hit this workspace button right here, go down to color, open it up, and we're gonna go over to Lumetri Color. In any other workspace, you can go up to window, drop down to Lumetri Color, once you're inside the Lumetri Color window, there's gonna be a few things we're gonna change. But in order to do so, we gotta head over here to Settings. The first thing you're gonna do is drop down here to Sequences and make sure that your working color space is the correct color space that you wanna be working in. For my purposes, I'm working in Rec. 709, so that's the color space I wanna be working in. If you try to change it to anything else, it will pop up a warning window that will change your sequence. Next thing you want to do is go up to Preferences, drop down the menu, and make sure that the Display Color Management is ticked off. You don't want Premiere telling you what color to show. You want to actually see what you're going to be editing and want to export. For example, watch this clip right here of Bob Odenkirk and I display color management. It makes it a little bit darker. The shadows go down, the contrast goes, like, that's not how I want it to look. I want it to look how I want it to look. The next thing you're gonna do is go down to project and make sure that your viewer gamma is set to 2.2 web. So the major problem here is that Premiere thinks that everyone editing is editing for broadcast, i.e. TV, and they wanna set this up so you can have these settings for broadcast settings and color. Now, I would argue that the grand majority of us are probably editing for the internet, for YouTube, for Instagram, for whatever. So with that in mind, we're gonna change some settings inside Premiere that will help you actually see the color that you will be exporting. This should make all your colors look the exact same on your export as it does inside your editing system. And that's it. This should solve most of the issues that you might be having. I really hope this helps you guys out there. If you've watched my previous videos, they were a quick band-aid for a problem. And once we figured out how this actually works, this has changed everything. I don't have the color mismanagement. I don't have the uh, oversaturation or the overblown gamma, anything. Everything is exporting the way I'm actually editing it. So if you found this helpful, leave me a comment down below. If you didn't find this helpful, also leave me a comment I want to know uh, what might not be working on your end. So hopefully either me or someone down in the comments could also help you. Guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you for spending the time with me and make sure you are doing something awesome today. And remember to be better. Bam. What's up everybody? Jason here from EO7 Media today to talk about, oh, damn it. Like it's actually being edited inside the timeline. And I hate this. I'm going to do it again. What's up everybody, my name is Jason from EO7 Media and today, nope, I don't like that, do it again.